Okay, this is the Core 2 Transformations Review Sheet, question one. So on the first question, we're describing transformations. So we want to know what's going to map the graph of y equals x plus 5 onto all these different graphs here. So in order to do this, we have a look at what's changed in the equation. So on the first equation, we started with x plus 5 and we've gone to minus x plus 5. So the x has become a minus x. Now, if we have a look at our table, x is replaced with negative x. So that's going to be a reflection in the y-axis. So our first one here is a reflection in y-axis. So that's our first one. Now on our second one, let's have a look and see what's changed this time. So again, we're starting with y equals x plus 5. Now this time, we've gone to minus x minus 5. Now, that means all the signs on the right-hand side of that equation have changed. So that's the same as replacing y with minus y. Because if I wrote that on this one as minus y, equals x plus 5. That's the same as saying y equals negative x and take away 5. So y has been replaced by minus y, which means this one is a reflection in the x-axis. So the answer to the second one is a reflection in x-axis. Okay. So coming on to C, that's our two reflections. Now C, D and E are the, all the same type of transformation. So let's have a look at those. Right, on C, what's changed? Well, on C, it was y equals x plus 5. And now it's gone to y equals 3x plus 5. So what's happened? Well, the x has been replaced by 3x. Now, if we um, multiply the x or the y by a number, that's a stretch. So this is a stretch. As we've multiplied the x, that means it's in the x direction, which means parallel to the x-axis. Now, the scale factor in the x direction here is actually the reciprocal of the number we've been given. So. Reciprocal of 3 means a third. Okay, so 1 over the number that's there, so a third. So that was on C. C is a stretch in the X, so I'll factor a third. Let's have a look then at D. Well, D is very similar. We started with X plus 5. And we've gone to Y is a third X plus 5. So we're still on a stretch in the X direction. We're looking at this line here in our table. Both these are stretches in the x direction. So it's still a stretch, still parallel to the x axis. And this time, the scale factor is going to be 3. So you can think of that as if it's a fraction, like flipping the fraction over. And if that gives us the reciprocal, which is 3. Right, so let's have a look at the last one, E. So in E, again, y equals x plus 5. Now this time, the right-hand side, the whole right-hand side, has been multiplied by 2. So we're multiplying by number, so that still means we're on a stretch. Now in this case, this is a stretch in the y direction, parallel to the y-axis. Because the, another way of thinking of this is this is the same as saying that a half y is x plus 5. So what we've done there is replaced y. So we've replaced y. So we've replaced y by a half y, which means it's a stretch in the y direction. And the scale factor is going to be 2 because the reciprocal of a half is 2. You can see when we rearrange this, 
This means the whole of the right hand side was multiplied by 2. So 2 is the scale factor.